Hi there, and welcome back to CNC Modeler. Today we're going to look at uh, the wiring of the Duet 3D and the expansion board to connect to my extruder via the external drivers. So uh, if you like this sort of stuff, please do subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you like videos, please do like them. It helps people find them and to help you find them when they turn up, hit that notification bell. So what have we got here? Well, this is um, a prototype setup that I've uh, done for the duet. So everything's mounted on a piece of plastic so it doesn't get shorted out when I try and do things. Um, these boards are quite expensive. So what have we got? We've got uh, main connectors to the power coming in. These are the power out to the extruders here. And then uh, we have uh, the thermocouple daughter board. Uh, I've put links to all of these uh, items. So that daughter board uh, allows you to use thermocouples rather than uh, thermoresistors. So there's an expansion board with uh, extra headers to connect my external drivers. So the pins, I did buy a connector for the pins, but uh, they won't drive enough current. So uh, I've also got, uh, speaking of driving enough current, I've also got a uh, daughter board for running my the, uh, hot end on my extruder because I want to run it at a higher voltage. Uh, so these are fairly standard boards. And then uh, you can see on the drivers, we've got basically enable, uh, direction and pulse. Uh, the enables are um, a bit odd on these. And then the bottom connector does the motor connections and you've got the DC in for the uh, uh, hot end driver. So uh, we've got, uh, got our uh, extruder so this is uh the first extruder i ever bought and this got uh, magneted onto the side of my milling machine just to have a go uh, and that uh, obviously took forever and wasn't great in terms of quality but it's a perfect thing for just for trying this out so the first thing i need to do is um, make sure i know which wires are which for each coil this is done fairly easily in that um, you just get your multimeter out and you look for the low resistance path so there's a, a pair there and another pair there and then uh, you can just uh, check the resistance uh, make sure the stepper's working all right so as you can see these should be six ohms so it's 5.9 ohms that should be fine that's great um, now some of the i've got some newer tools recently and uh, one of the things is uh, it's important to have good connections on all of these uh, been talked away from going to um, solder joints and these crimps are really good so this um, little ratchet device puts like a um, geodesic pattern on the uh, wires that it crimps and they're not coming off um, so it's the first crimp tool uh, apart from JST crimper uh, which I'll speak about in a minute um, that uh, I've actually found that I prefer to soldering I've always struggled with the, the standard auto crimpers that you find. So anyway, as you can see, we're just uh, putting the uh, stepper motor wires into the connector block to go on the driver. And uh, now we've got uh, a couple of wires for the heater element in the hot end. And then uh, the other two connections are for the thermocouple. You might have noticed this, I was twisting the wires for the stepper motor, that's to reduce interference. Twisted pairs always work better. So we're going to now use this ribbon cable to connect the uh, driver up to the expansion header. So I'm only going to use four wires because the um, uh, enable pins on these drivers actually work in reverse so if it's closed it turns the driver off so a lot of people have had problems with that so I'm not going to connect them but I need to figure out if I can reverse the signal coming out of the uh, duet so that it works so we're just uh, basically going to connect this up and, um, and then we're going to move on to putting the connector on the other end so again, just uh, splitting out the wires and stripping off the ends. And now we're going to dig out. So when I bought the expansion board, uh, the guys from Duet, they're really good. They always supply all the connectors that you need. 
Um, so we've got these, uh, I think they're Molex connectors, but I might be wrong. And uh, so these uh, little pins, they're just like any other GST, JST type connector, but I've got this uh, ratchet crimper now and it does both sides of it at once. And this is the first one I found that actually has all the sizes that I use and uh, seems to do a really good job. And you might have been able to see in the background my old one, um, but I don't use that anymore. This is really good. Um, so yeah, so I basically go through and ratchet on all of those and um, pop it in the connector. So I've just got to make sure the pins are right. So there's um, basically the pulse goes to the signal pins and the uh, direction pins go to the direction pins on those headers. And once that's all sorted, as you can see, I was trying to be a bit cautious um, and uh, just whack those last couple of pins in and uh, just plug it onto just one of the headers for now. So now we're going to just put the crimp on the uh, connectors. So this, um, they're actually for a heated bed, but uh, the specs on these uh, heater controllers go up to 60 volts. So it should be fine to run my uh, extruder at 36 volts, my custom one that I'm going to build. Um, but for now, I, I'm just going to run them all at 12 volts, including the steppers while I prototype here. Uh, so those existing thermocouple connectors that were on that uh, wire, they're no good because I need to be able to get in on that tiny little daughter board. So again, we're just stripping those wires off and crimping on a couple extra connectors and um, that will be us done. So that's basically wiring up the duet. Uh, I was hoping to get a lot more done this week, but I have problems with cars and all sorts of things. So you'll have to bear with me. Um, and uh, I've also got some videos about how I mounted the boards onto the plastic uh, but didn't get around to editing that up, so maybe next time. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do uh, subscribe to the channel and have a look at my website maybe and check out these videos. So thanks very much for your time guys, sorry about it being a short video and I'll see you again next week. Cheers!